I actually read an article in the New York Times about a woman that had put up a little library like this in, in, in Brooklyn in front of her brownstone and I just loved the idea. It was such a great thing and uh, we just moved to the neighborhood at that moment and I was actually missing the bookstores a little and, and I thought it would be such a nice thing to, to have here. So I started researching and I found the organization that sells the, the little houses and then started reaching out to people and so many people came forward like Gareth painting it wonderfully, uh, Carpenter doing the pose, like Kelly helped me a lot with the parks department, get an approval. It was, it's, a, it's, a great, it's been a great experience in community organizing and, and I, I love the result. I hope it's gonna, it's actually the first one in, in Manhattan, like the first community free library and I'm hoping it's gonna be a start. Like, it will be inspired many other neighborhoods to add to the libraries. The idea is that uh, it's a place for people to leave a book, take a book, um, you know, leave something that they like, and take something that looks good. And um, I've done some painting on the outside of it, uh, showing some of the dogs from our neighborhood, which I'm a big fan of the many dogs of our neighborhood. And this is uh, one of the first uh, Little Free Libraries in Manhattan. In fact, we believe it's the first community-organized Little Free Library in Manhattan. Apparently, I guess the, the Little Free Library movement got started in Madison, Wisconsin, but it's now spread all over the country and um, I believe in like several dozen countries now. Just went up to today. This is its, this is its debut. <laughs>